standard economic theory has long assumed that our decisions are driven by rationality and by calculations of trade-offs and utility. And that is part of what drives us, but we are so much more complex. And we need to understand how exactly our emotional influences, the mistakes that we make, guide our behavior and lead us to make certain types of choices. That's probably a better way of thinking our, about our decision making, where there's many influences, many channels, they're all coming together and combining in, in ways that are sometimes surprising, sometimes unexpected, and sometimes that we really don't understand well in order to produce the choices that we ultimately make. One potential positive impact is what we do as consumers. So when we go buy products, we potentially might care about the degree to which one product costs more, but has a positive impact on society. And when do we choose to make that purchasing decision? My personal vision for the work I do is that it can help us better understand these types of altruistic and ethical motivations that we have as individuals, whether it's as consumers or as members of society or when we're working, um, and how these can be harnessed as a way of producing positive social impacts. My aim is to better understand how to improve the conditions for children so they can flourish in childhood and in adulthood. We want to understand what is the causal effect of breastfeeding on child development, mother's well-being and more broadly family dynamics. My research agenda on breastfeeding is highly relevant in terms of understanding what might be the potential costs for maternal well-being when they breastfeed. My vision for the future is to better understand important windows in child development. Where do we need to do certain interventions and in turn that might improve child development. So these are all open questions. We are surrounded by errors. We all know from our personal experience that many times we are not satisfied with our decisions, that we make mistakes. Our brain is a biological machine which has automatized a lot of behaviors. And that frees cognitive resources, which allow us to do other more interesting things. That's what we call deliberation. It's the confluence between automatic process and deliberation, which makes us human beings. I think that we should discuss the role of interdisciplinarity in economics. Economics has taken insights from psychology leading to the birth of behavioral economics and has started taking insights from neuroscience, which has led to the development of neuroeconomics. We need to understand how brain processes influence those decisions, and we need to understand what neuroscience is telling us about how we should improve our economic models. <laughs>